You know, so many of the pros that we know and love, such as Mongrel, Benji Fishy, and Clicks, all entered their professional career at such young ages, even when they were still in school. Now, you know, you just gotta wonder, like, how they were able to do it, and what you can do to also become a Fortnite pro while you're still in school. Put your crunch on me where you at your motivation guy, that's why I'm back. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can achieve your goals and go pro in Fortnite, while also balancing the responsibility of your schoolwork. Hey, you guys ready for this one? I know I am. Let's get this going. So one of the most important skills for learning to become a Fortnite pro, and even just in terms of just life skills in general, is time management. The ability to properly and efficiently organize your time does not come naturally, man. So learning this skill as early as you can will certainly help you guys out in the long run. So having good time management skills enables you to work really smarter and not harder, maximizing your productivity. Simple things like writing down a set routine schedule for throughout the day or a to-do list, which includes time for both your schoolwork and your in-game practice can really help you guys out to be really extra productive and efficient, getting more things done in less time. Also, make sure that you fit in some time to rest and relax because relaxation time, which doesn't include your sleep, is just super important to maintain a consistent work ethic and also is important in maintaining your motivation. And so if this suits you, man, like have a set day to really focus on one main activity throughout that day since being busy with lots of different things does not necessarily mean the same as being effective. And so if you want to be as effective as possible, in your training, then you need to head on over to ProGuides.com. Our Pro Master Courses, developed by the best of the best like Mongo and Clicks, will give you everything that you need to know about becoming the ultimate Fortnite player. All you need to do is hit the link in the top right of the video. All right, so with that being said, guys, the summer holiday is just around the corner for people in the UK and US, and that means everyone who's looking to make a career out of their favorite game is going to have tons of free time on their hands. And of course, with lots of free time, you also are going to need a little bit of discipline. So fortunately, you know, we're not going to spend too much time lecturing the community on discipline because all you need to know is that you definitely shouldn't spend all this free time doing things for short term entertainment. And so while you should enjoy the free time and make the most of it to be successful in your Fortnite career, you need to get into the habit of grinding out your schedule consistently. And that means no more endless just scrolling through TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff. And so if you have a phone, which we're assuming most of you guys probably do, you know, go to your set settings and just take a look at your screen time and how much time you spend doing meaningless things. Now think about how much more you could get done if you spent some of that time on other stuff such as grinding out some content while streaming or you know maybe practicing new effective strategies. And so at the very least you should definitely consider you know curating your feed and following certain accounts so that you're watching content that could actually feed you useful knowledge to grow or incorporate it into your Fortnite practice. And so speaking of which like we actually have a pro guys TikTok and a pro guys Instagram. You know, both of which have tons of tips to make you a better Fortnite pro. So make sure that you follow those accounts. Also, follow my account at Your Motivation Guy. If you haven't already, come on, man. Show me love. Connect with me. When I can, I love to connect with you. And uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be a good start. All in all, you know, lots of people in the community feel that if they just had some more time, they would be able to get a lot more done. And with summer holidays coming up, that means lack of free time is no longer going to be a problem. So make sure you take advantage of that. All right. So lots of people in the community have said that they want to go pro, but their parents won't let them for many reasons, ending up with them not playing as much as they need to in order to have a chance of becoming a pro. And I get this all the time on my Instagram, all the DMs I get, you know, talk a lot about this. Talk about, you know, the lack of support they're getting from family and friends and, you know, how people just don't believe in them. And so this is an issue that a lot of people face. And so one of the main reasons why, you know, your family usually doesn't support you is that they might think a Fortnite career might interfere with their focus on school when this most of the time just isn't the case. As we discussed before, as long as you incorporate proper time management into your schedule and simply understand how much you can get done in a day, you're going to end up seeing that you don't need all the time in the world to simply balance out school and Fortnite. And so at the start, it may be a little hard, guys, but after a few weeks of practicing good time management skills, it will become a habit and almost second nature to you guys, all right? In addition to this, show your parents real evidence that it is actually possible for you to make a living and a career out of Fortnite. And not only that, like show them that you understand how to to do it in depth. You know, research all the ways of making it happen. This will make your parents just much more comfortable letting you spend more time playing and just less time maybe doing some other type of work. And it can also help you learn more than anything. You know, another way to get known in the community while going pro is by streaming live on Twitch. You know, it's a dream that we've all had, right? <laughs> At least once. And just because the industry is so oversaturated with streamers doesn't mean it's impossible to be a successful pro streamer. You know, there are many techniques and bits of knowledge that may help you succeed. You know, one 
one thing before getting into streaming to really, really understand is that, you know, it's really more about what you're doing off stream to really prepare that really counts rather than just how much entertainment you're giving on stream. You know, instead of grinding at the game for eight hours while live streaming to one or two viewers, when you're first starting out, isn't exactly going to help you grow. Instead, make content based around, you know, what happens in your stream and post it to all platforms which you have on an account. Like for example, posting a funny or memorable clip from you know your one or two hour stream into TikTok and Instagram really gains traction. And notice how we said one or two hour stream rather than like an eight hour stream. Yeah, like even though we're talking about going pro and not becoming a content creator, it's still super important to know that quality always beats quantity. You So you wanna put all of this into your streams and really maximize your potential growth. And so at the end of the day, guys, streaming live on Twitch is a good way to really grow your platform and to really show off your skills while you're you're going pro on Fortnite. And it's just a good way to give your Fortnite career a kickstart, especially if you start gaining a following on apps like TikTok and Instagram. All right, bunch of course on me, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the question of the day. All right, today we wanna to know how many of you guys are having trouble convincing your parents to let you go pro? Come on, man, keep it real. The community needs to hear. And I wanna hear some of the craziest things, like some of the craziest things that are happening right now when it comes to that. All right, back to the video. All right, so one of the most common mistakes some players make to this day is getting on Fortnite and end up just loading up into a creative lobby and endlessly just free building and playing meaningless 1v1s. While this technically is still, you know, a good way of practicing and warming up, but lots of people just end up warming up for like way longer than they were initially meant to, which just really wastes a lot of time. So one way to really stop this from happening if you have a problem with doing this is to set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes before you're load in to a creative lobby and, you know, just once that timer ends, immediately just back out and play some arena. Practicing for too long in creative 1v1 battles sets an unrealistic example for real games since the ping frames per second and input delay you get in there is just simply a dream come true and it's really not what you're going to expect in a real arena lobby. And so we all know how laggy and unresponsive the epic servers get when there are so many people in the end game. So being ready for going through this is just really, really pretty useful. If you want to do good in the tournaments and cash cups, you've got to be ready for the real thing and getting better in arena games combined with consistently playing in the those tournaments, no matter how you place, is literally the best way to do that. So another quick way to really warm up your aim efficiently is to play some of the Kovacs aim trainer for about like five minutes before you go into a Fortnite game. Doing this will make your shotgun shots extra precise and you're going to feel more confident with your aim the more frequently you practice. And so with all that being said, guys, like the most important out of all these is to never give up. I always said all the time in my Instagrams, all my quotes that I leave you guys all the time. When I talk to you personally, one on one, I always tell you, keep grinding and never give up because the ones that don't give up, they make it to the end. No one remembers quitters. So, you know, in life, just because things get hard doesn't mean that you give up. It means that you work around that. It means that you strategize. It means that you try to get better. You know, it means that you try to get help, but you keep growing each and every day. Remember that. So. If you want to make it in this industry, you know, you've got to be consistent. And so we've seen way too many people just, you know, giving it everything they've got for like a week. And then because they don't see like immediate results, they just stop, which isn't the way to do it. And so we know it's hard to balance your long term goals with schoolwork. I get it, but it is possible. And as we mentioned before, you should definitely make sure to get yourself some good relaxation time, enough sleep so that you can, you know, stay motivated on your journey. But other than that, man, it's all about how good your willpower is, which is a skill in itself that you have to learn. So remember to stay consistent and never give up and you will eventually start seeing results, all right? Whether that be, you know, in a few days or a few weeks or a few months. And lastly, you know, remember, it's important to celebrate the small wins to keep yourself motivated. Don't expect any big numbers right away, all right? Keep going. Keep the dream alive, man. I believe in you. I'm your number one fan. Remember that. All right, Bunch of Cross Tommy, those are all the ways that we think that you can improve your chances of going pro in Fortnite while you're still in school. You know, the journey that you're trying to undertake is a difficult one and to be honest not everyone is going to make it but if you could just grind hard man and just try your best to quickly realize that anybody can make it i'm telling you the sky is the limit hey man don't give up that's all i gotta say don't give up don't surrender if you guys like the video sub to the channel and connect with me on my instagram at your motivation guy i'll see you on the next one peace